those of you who don't recognize me when I'm not green, this is Am. And I'm standing here outside of Fuel for Men in Sydney, where Kevin is about to be, well, reborn. But that's after he does an interview with Craig Tracy. See, this year is 2013. And it's time for a whole new painted body. Okay. Okay. So um, I, I'm going to start with the. Well, I'm going to ask a couple questions here. And uh, one I'm going to ask every body painter that I ever encounter is if you are at a gig and you find that you're missing one tool, and that one tool that you're missing means that it's game over, you're not going to paint, what would that be? The, wow, okay, because, wow, you got me on that one, because I've, I've actually done three paintings just using my fingers, and we sold one of them today in the gallery, and, you know, <laughs> when I say painting, um, they're photographs of my paintings, mm -hmm. you know, because I paint on bodies, yeah. but literally today, um, a painting that I did solely with my fingers, we sold a, a $500, you know, U.S. dollar uh, photograph of it today. And this image has been earning me money uh, in its limited editions for the last six years. And so it wouldn't be paintbrush, airbrush. Um, I, you know, I've, I've been painted myself, so I'm like thinking, well, the model would be the most important aspect. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, if I got into a jam, I would be my own model, you know? Okay. So you, you, you got a hell of a question. <laughs> and um, I love challenges. Um, I'm trying to think, like, if I didn't actually have my body paint, I, I would probably not try and improvise with ketchup and mustard. Uh, you know, but I would, I would probably use, um, I don't know, that's a hell of a question, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> Actually, that's, that was an answer in itself. I think yeah. That, I think that was, a, I think that that's a testament to your, uh, your versatility. Um, and professionalism, like if you have to get a job done, you know, it has to be done. And if you have to go buy, you know, shitty hobby paint from a, a craft store, not professional body paint, as long as it's not toxic, you know, or going to be used in some crazy way, I'd use kids' paint on a body, you know? But you can't always get to the store. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I use a paintbrush the majority of the time. I'm probably most known, however, for my airbrush work, which is a little bit of a... Um, <clears throat> a compliment and it can be a little bit deceptive because I think about 60 to 70 percent of my work is paintbrush mm -hmm. and 20 30 percent is airbrush and then I do weird things like finger painting sponging you know some of my favorite work is done with sponge okay anyway okay that's a, that's a that's an awesome answer that's an awesome answer in fact um, yeah I wasn't expecting that one and that's that's a that's that's better than I was expecting. Thank you. I hope to not be typical in any way. Okay. Okay. So, um, what inspired you to start body painting in the first place? Well, you know, my story is a little long. I talk a lot. Um, the first time I ever painted on a body for real was a silly, goofy kind of prank for a radio station competition mm -hmm. where a asked me to paint a radio station logo across her chest and um, I said I would only do it if we photographed her in front, front of the local police station and uh, so when I was 23 years old uh, what this would be around 1992 uh, around 1992 I painted a, a logo on a girl's breast and photographed her in front of a police station. Um, and then there, that was just kind of silly fun. Uh, I used acrylic paint at the time. Um, I used marks a lot, like Sharpie marker, and um, I also used... I also used... Uh, um, I also used uh, acrylic uh, 
maybe and uh, many years go by I start doing some face and uh, you have a bird in the room uh, no, no, it was uh, that was him. She was uh, letting me know that I was running out of time. So, <laughs> oh, do you need to go? Uh, actually, I do. Uh, we can we can uh, finish up this this particular topic, and then uh, from I'll go from okay. there. Well, I got into body painting because I was painting um, t-shirts primarily mm -hmm. with an airbrush. Mm -hmm. I had my business, and uh, I painted any three-dimensional object anyone would bring to me two-dimensional or three-dimensional, so it was very well-rounded. I had been an illustrator but retired from that. Um, someone begged me to paint their face for Halloween, and um, I tried everything I could do to turn this person away, but they successfully got me to paint on their face, and instantly I saw it as incredibly um, moving and challenging and different and powerful, uh, in the ability to transform someone in minutes. Um, and then from there, it grew to more and more face painting, which led to, to bodies. And then ultimately to the point where I said, what if I took painting on a body seriously? And then that's sort of what changed the uh, world for me. Awesome, awesome. So for people that are not familiar with you, um, where can they see your work? Um, CraigTracy.com. Um, I'm also on Facebook. Uh, if you want to Facebook me, uh, Craig Tracy, or, or the Craig Tracy Gallery. But CraigTracy.com um, is, you know, going to show you my full portfolio. There's also a lot of videos on there and uh, some behind the scenes imagery. Fantastic. Well, it was absolutely wonderful finally talking to you. Um, cool. And uh, let's not make this the last one. I'm, I'm available whenever you need me. Here goes everything. Am I going? Yes, go. Keep it there. Oh. It's like a little pet. <laughs> really loud. <laughs> My name's Alex, and um, I've been here listening for 13 years now. Yeah. Where are we working right now? Yeah, we're, we're here, here at Field for Man, Mid City Centre, Pitchfork, Green City. Yeah, and what? This is a cool place, so tell me about some of the things guys get here. Um, basically, we offer complimentary beer with our haircuts. We, we have PlayStation here and Fox Sports. So we use American food products, as you can see behind You also get a wash in the back. Yeah. Alright. How, and, um... You've worked at this establishment how long? I've been here for over a year now. Yeah? You like working here? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for uh, the art work that you did on Kevin today. You're welcome. So it's been three days since I cut my hair. And it's um, getting some very interesting reactions. Um, some people don't recognize me at all. Um, uh, I'm keep on grabbing for my uh, my phantom ponytail um, and uh, it's uh, it's really odd uh, it's showers take like one fourth of the time they did before um, and it's it, it's kind of cool I, 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 I like it you know 15 years was 10 15 years since I've had a you know short haircut and it's a little odd um, but I like it I like it it's a uh, time for change Let's see, on painting front, um, still working in the studio, uh, trying to get stuff done there. Um, haven't really done any body painting, and I need to schedule the work with the model. 
think I've got something planned in the next week or two, depending on the weather. So I'm actually talking about doing something outdoors. That ought to be fun. Um, and uh, working on some other projects that I can't quite talk about just yet. Um, but the moment I can, I'm going to post it here. Um, starting a new section um, for this podcast, which is Ask a Body Painter. So if you can send me an email at artofpaint at gmail.com, I will answer your email on this podcast. Uh, so please send that in. Um, and if you are an artist that would like to be interviewed, um, we're more than willing to um, interview you and uh, give you a little bit of, um, you know, your what, 0.5 minutes of fame. You know, it's a podcast and all that famous, but, you know, hey, why not? Um, and uh, I've got some other interviews coming up that um, are going to be pretty exciting. Um some uh, other big names in body painting and um, I'm also thinking about doing some product reviews so um, let's see how that goes <laughs>